Hi everyone, Martin here from Martin's UK. I hope you're all well. Today, I'm just, so I wasn't actually going to record this video, so I'm a little bit unprepared, but hey. Um, this is my catalogue card, so the new annual catalogue is out. I can't get it. It's here, or it will be out soon, should I say, May 2nd. And when I'm sending this out to my customers, I'm sending out just a little card. The card's blank, so they can pass it on. But I wanted to quickly make it with you. So it's using two stamp sets. So it's using the Night of Flight stamp set, which is brand new in the annual catalogue. It's right at the very back. It is one of the limited, or oh, it's not a limited edition, but it's not the word I'm looking for. It's one of the host sets. So you have to spend £150 in order to get that kind of that 10% rebate on to sp spend with in something else on the catalog, I didn't explain that very well. Blah 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 blah. blah. Basically, you spend £150, you get 10% back in order to spend on anything in the catalog, but this is exclusive to that deal. Um, equally, you can run a workshop or collate a load of orders together with you and your friends. And when that reaches that 150 plus, that's when you could get one of these. So on to my next one, which is the pre-existing one, which is Sending Smiles. It's a favourite, and I've just grabbed the Skinny Sentiment, a card to say hello. All right. So I'm using our note cards, so basic white note cards um, and envelopes. It gives you this cute little size card that you see here and a coordinating envelope. So I was able to do these very quickly. So let's grab that. I do need a bone folder, which I haven't got ready. Okay. So these cards come pre-scored. What I would say is just be careful with the score line because it can be slightly off so where you then go over it it could be a little bit wonky but if you're careful you'll be fine so i've already mounted my stamp on the acrylic block and well i've done both stamps i'm not very tall i don't know what i'm talking about today I'm very tired, it's been a long week, but nevertheless, I wanted to record it because it's such a simple card. Um, so I've mounted the moth image that I liked, which is this one here. And underneath, I put the sentiment because they're both gonna go into be stamped in memento ink, so I might as well just stamp it all at the same time. Um, and what I did was I just lined this up on my grid mat and then just tried to get it as straight as possible. So, Memento Ink. Let's ink this up. So, I am really excited about, about the new catalogue. Um, there's lots of different elements that I think are quite new. Um, sad to see a lot of things go. I'm sad to see some of my favourite colours go. But nevertheless, that's part and parcel of getting a new catalogue. Not everything can stay. So let's just reinforce that down a little bit more so i'm gonna ink that up a little bit more missed a little bit in the middle a nice good coverage so i'm just gonna line this up in the upper section of my card hopefully it's straight because normally i'd have my head directly over it here but no one wants to see the greys. I'm just gonna lift that up. And that looks okay. So that's lovely in itself. It's a bit plain. And on this card, I added a little bit of Wink Stella in the middle. I don't know if you can quite see that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm talking too much. I added a bit of Wink Stella, but I didn't like it. So we're not gonna do that today. So I'm going to grab my blender brush and I'm grabbing my Cajun Craze ink. This is one of my favourite colours. I feel like it's highly kind of overlooked because it's one of those colours. I've 
rubbed the blend brush over the ink pad and like so and then I'm just gonna dab off the majority of the ink just so I can get a soft subtle fade and I'm gonna start in the middle pressing really lightly because you can always add more but you can never take away and I'm just adding a soft glow of occasion okay so you can see that it's super subtle you can see that at the moment i'm just gonna add a little bit more again just start off with a little bit there we go and fade out now i i, I just love how simple this is like you don't need a lot anybody can make this and you can step it up step it down step it to the side whatever you like one thing i am going to grab is my basic black stamping blend because i'm going to do a little bit of the ink splatter now my tip is ruined by do by doing this and stamping up quite brutally say not to do it but i'm just gonna rub it against the lid like so to create a splatter and there you have the card so it's super simple we can decorate the envelope actually let's let's decorate the envelope why not so that's down like that let's grab just the butterfly like so look at the back of the dimensional on there let's ink it up i think i just got ink all over my bum and i'm just i don't know if you can see my head but i'm trying to positioning myself right over it so i'm going to line that up roughly in the middle like so there you have it and let's add a little glow to that as well shall we just so it matches you could add rhinestones to it you could do so much but i really like the simplicity Thinking cute as that. You could decorate the front if you want and add a little butterfly down here. But I think it's quite nice just on its own. Like so. Actually, we could add an ink splatter as well. See what I mean? You could just go crazy. I went a little bit more sparingly. I went a little bit crazy with this one and did a little bit too much. But there you go. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let's bring this one in as well under the envelope just so you can see it. Super simple, it's using some of our new favourite products. And yeah, I hope to see you around. Bye.